Welcome back to Book Break. And did you know that it is Women in Translation Month this month? And it's not too late for you to join in this August. The point of Women in Translation Month is highlighting voices and perspectives from all over the world that often aren't heard as much. Because did you know that of all the books translated into English, only 31% of them are from female authors? Here on Book Break, we love promoting female writers from all over the world, from all walks of life. And so I have got seven recommendations for you that you could use this August to celebrate women in translation. I'll start with some novels. So the first book I've got here is All the Lovers in the Night by Mieko Kawakami. And this book was translated from Japanese. The book is set in Tokyo and it's about a woman in her 30s who finds it really hard to form any meaningful relationships. But all that changes with one chance encounter with a man who inspires her to see the world in a whole new light. But even as her life starts to change for the better, painful memories from her past start to resurface. So this is a really moving story about this woman's inner life. And Kawakami, as an author, writes really well about women across all her fiction, about women's lives, about the harm that women can inflict on each other, and about the bigger societal structures that cause women to harm each other. So a really amazing author to discover this month if you haven't already. Concerning My Daughter by Kim Hai Jin is translated from Korean, and this is a book about a mother-daughter relationship. The daughter, who is an adult, has run out of money and is forced to move back home with her mother, bringing with her her long-term girlfriend. The mother is completely uncomfortable with her daughter's queerness and basically refuses to speak to the girlfriend at all. So we have this terribly strained relationship between these three women. But at the same time, the mother starts noticing bigotry at her work environment and starts questioning why some people's lives are thought to be worth more than others. And so the conflict between these two different parts of her life starts to change her perspective. The Art of Losing by Alice Zenitaire is translated from French, and this is a novel that spans three generations of a family. It's about a young woman who has always lived in France. She knows that her family is from Algeria, but she's never really paid much attention to that part of her heritage. But now she is going back to Algeria, the first person in the family to do so ever since her grandfather Ali was forced to leave the country. And on this trip, she is going to confront truths from the family's past and find the answers to questions that no one in the family has been able to answer before. I've also got two novellas to show you for some slightly quicker reading options. The first is We Had to Remove This Post by Hannah Barefoot, which is translated from Dutch. This is about a woman who works as a content moderator at an unnamed social media platform. So her job is to go through the videos, the rants, the offensive comments, the pictures that are being posted online and work out which ones need to be removed. And they have these quite strict guidelines that tell them what should or shouldn't be removed from the internet. And so she and all of her teammates find that this kind of work starts to really change the way that they see the world. And it brings up all of these questions about who gets to decide what should or shouldn't see the light of day. It's a very quick read, it's also a very dark read, and it really races forward and brings you to this very unsettling place as all of the content moderators find their own morals seem to be changing. Magma by Thora Horlifstotir is translated from Icelandic, and this is a novel about an emotionally abusive relationship. Again, it's a very quick read, but it packs so much into a really short book. Our main character is a 20-year-old who gets into a relationship with an older, very controlling man, and imperceptibly he starts to display these very manipulative behaviors and we see how easy it is for her to get completely sucked in to his orbit. If you want to read some non-fiction this month, I recommend In Defense of Witches by Mona Cholet. This is translated from French and it's a history of witches and the book completely reclaims the character of the witch. So the book looks at these historical archetypes of witches back from the time when they were hunted and killed because of the fears of men usually around them and then compares those archetypes 
with women today who choose to live differently. Maybe it's women who choose not to have children, women who are independent, and then looks at how they are still feared and othered today. And the book takes a really positive slant because looking at all of the ways throughout history that women have dared to live differently actually opens up so many options, even now, for women to be more in control of the way that their life goes. So the witch is recast in this book as a really powerful role model. And finally, I've got a really gorgeous classic to show you that I'm sure you already know, but you might not actually have read, Heidi by Joanna Spiri. This is a beloved children's classic that is one of the best-selling books ever written, which just goes to show that we should keep translating women from all over the world. Heidi was translated from German. The book is about little orphan Heidi, who is six years old and sent to live in the Alps with her grandfather, who everyone in the village is rather scared of, but Heidi thinks he's great and adores him. He adores her. So she lives this wonderful life in the mountains until the day she is taken away and sent to live with a whole new family. And Heidi is not happy about that. She will do anything to get back to her grandfather. If you would like more recommendations of books in translation, I will link here to a whole playlist of all of the other videos I have made recommending translated books. I'd love to know your recommendations in the comments below. See you next time.